Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Z for tonight. We are going to be making one of my favorites, quesadillas. I really miss Mexican food, as you can probably tell. I think I said that in the enchilada video. But uh, So these are some Mexican version quesadillas. Kind of spicy, not too bad. Again, you can make them as spicy as you want. So, Bob, I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm going to be taking out the seeds of the chili again. So, just kind of... Fast forward through that part if you don't want to watch. So on the menu tonight is Mexican food, and let's get started. Tortillas, grated white cheese. You can use the same kind of cheese that you were using for the enchiladas. Monterey Jack would be fantastic. If you don't have it, any kind of like just mild white cheese will do just fine. Coriander, this is one of the biggest ingredients in here, one of the most important. So you want a fresh plant of coriander. Spring onions, a few cloves of garlic, diced, boneless, skinless chicken breast. For the side dish, a little bit of like guacamole. And avocado, limes, a big bowl, a frying pan, and a big tray that's going to go in the oven. So first thing we're going to do is cook our chicken. Go ahead and turn your frying pan onto medium high heat and we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil and fry the chicken up. In your bowl here you're going to put um, the other raw ingredients which is going to be the cheese and we're going to slice thinly our uh, spring onion and our garlic and our chili. So get to slicing. A nice trick with the spring onions is you can just actually cut them with the scissors. So just hold it over your bowl and just start cutting them with your scissors. It goes a little bit faster than chopping them actually. So this is how many spring onions we're going to have in here. It's like a handful and a half. And we have our chicken cooking over here. Nothing in it at all, just with a little bit of oil. All the great spices are going to be in the um, like cheese mixture, so you don't really need to do anything to the chicken. Okay, with our coriander plant, I just chopped off the top of it, and we're going to hold it over the bowl, and kind of wad it up a little bit, and take our scissors and just cut it into the bowl. And you're um, chopping up the stems as well, so you don't need to like worry about that you have the stems, it's okay to eat them. I'm going to split them down the middle, and we're going to take some of the seeds out, I'm sorry, Bob. I have to. Otherwise, I'll start crying. <laughs> you don't need to take the seeds out of the chili if you don't want to. But it's a little bit too hot for me and I can't handle it. So open them up and you see the seeds. And then I'm just going to rinse these off. Now take your knife and we're going to make some more slits. So um, it looks like a ribbon and then we're just going to cut it right into the bowl. So it's all sliced up, and then just snip small pieces into the bowl. I should rename the show for today, How to Cook with Scissors. Okay, chicken's done, so take that off the heat and let it start to cool down a little bit while we finish cutting up stuff into our bowl here. So one large garlic really finely chopped up. Here we have our mixture of spring onions and chili and garlic and coriander. So throw your chicken into your bowl mixture. I'm going to throw in a few handfuls of our cheese. Now just stir everything up to make sure this is well mixed. I didn't really say a measurement on how much of the coriander or cilantro that you're using because for that's one of my absolute favorite spices, period, and the more the merrier. Um, if I had two plants, I would have put two plants in there. It just depends on how much you like the, that herb with how much you're going to put in there. And this is what it should look like when it's all stirred up. Okay, put some baking paper on a big oven tray. And then we're going to take a tortilla and put it down. And a big spoon of our cheese mixture. Maybe two. And fold it in half. And then just put a few of them down and then they're going to go in the oven until the cheese is melted so it's only like 10 minutes. And uh, if I didn't say, um, quesadillas are basically just kind of like Mexican pizzas. And you can fill them with whatever you want. There's lots of different kinds to make them. This is just my favorite recipe for quesadillas.
I make different kinds of guacamole depending on what I'm going to be having and since I have a lot of chili, for me it's a lot of chili in the quesadillas, I'm not going to put any chili in the guacamole. If you're looking up a recipe for just regular guacamole that you want to have with like chips and dip or something on the side, then it's nice to cut up some chili or you can put chili powder in it. What I have is two avocados, I haven't smushed them up yet, and two limes and one garlic chopped up. I know I put garlic in the quesadillas but I didn't put in two, like I was supposed to I only put in one in there so I could have one in here. I like the spiciness of raw garlic. I think, I mean, it's, it does taste like garlic but it also has a bit of a kick to it as well. So now we're going to put in some ground pepper, salt, a little bit of cumin powder, and paprika powder. So now all you do is take a fork and mash everything up and then you just kind of taste it and then keep adding stuff if you want more. If you want more salt, if you want more lime, if you want more cumin powder, um, that's about it. If you have more coriander, you can put that in here. Um, but we have a lot of coriander in our quesadillas, so I'm not going to be putting that in my guacamole this time. So here's your Mexican quesadilla a la Z. All pretty and everything. Now it's raid time. Yes! Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you have to try this dish. I'm not even going to say I hope you do because you have to because it's fantastic. And I'll see you next time.